Now, for a guy that's just about to be arraigned on murder charges, you look pretty damn relaxed. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm here. I'm here because lots of things about you, Slater, that have me confused right now. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't doubt for a second that you're capable of killing Evan in cold blood, or that you tried to do the same thing to Ryan, because you saw both men as threats. But you don't strike me as the kind of man that's going to poison a harmless, unsuspecting woman. Am I right? I'm capable of lots of things. Lying, cheating, scamming. And you think I'd stop short at, what, poisoning little Greenlee? Yeah, I do, actually. Why? Because you choose opponents that can fight back. Well, like Edmund, he was in a wheelchair and he couldn't fight back. You know, I have questions about that crime too. The only witness to the murder was your son. Now, it's no secret that your son hates you. Which you can't really fault him for. But what I'm worried about is that that hatred runs so deep that he's gonna try and accuse you of a murder that you didn't commit. Huh. There's one tiny flaw in your brilliant deduction. I confirm the accusation. Which brings me to my next question. You see, many people have accused you of many crimes, including taking a shot at Ryan, and you have denied each charge. And then now, all of a sudden, out of the blue, I'm the killer, I'm the poison pusher. You see why I need your help? I can't work it out. So, so what are you, you think I'm innocent? You wanna go out there and clear my name? That's sweet, Aiden, right? But I, I'm not interested. Good morning, Mr. Slater. I hate to break this up, but I really need some time alone with you before we go to court. I have nothing to say. I'm here to help you. It's not in your best interest to continue to turn me away. You will regret it later. No, I have no regrets. for this. You may be seated. Mr. Slater, you're charged with the first degree murder of Edmund Gray. What is your plea? Uh, my client pleads not guilty, Your Honor, and we request that a reasonable bail be set. Your Honor, it is the state's recommendation that Mr. Slater be denied bail. This murder was a cold-blooded, premeditated act on the defendant's part. Given the serious nature of this crime, as well as pending charges against the defendant for aggravated assault and attempted murder and two other charges, we believe that Mr. Slater is a danger to the community, not to mention a flight risk. My client hasn't been formally charged with any other offenses. Therefore, they shouldn't have any bearing on this case. The defendant has already admitted to committing these crimes, Your Honor. You make this easier for everyone, Your Honor. Lock me up and throw away the key. Why are you wasting everybody's time? Lock me up. Just go ahead, do it. That's enough, Mr. Slater. Counsel, I recommend you get your client in line before going to trial. I apologize. Don't Ron. apologize for me. I'm not sorry for anything. And I'm looking forward to seeing the Pine Valley version of justice. Maybe I get lucky, get killed like my brother. Keep your comments to yourself, Mr. Slater. Otherwise, I'll add contempt of court to this growing list of charges. Let the record show that bail has been denied to the defendant. Mr. Slater will remain in police custody until a trial date is set. Court is adjourned. All rise. Finally, we get to see Zack Slater for the evil killer that he is. This is your father you're talking about. I know you're worried about me, Kendall, but believe me, I'm fine. And I'll be a lot better when Zack's locked up in prison 
where it belongs. Maybe I can get you some better seats for the trial, son. If you act like that at trial, Slater, you can kiss any shot of getting off goodbye. You'll find that I'll behave any way I damn well please. Get out of my face. Tell me you killed Edmund because he was about to nail you for your crimes. Please tell me that you didn't kill him for me.